But first new tonight, emergency room doctors say they are seeing a lack of patients, but not for coronavirus. That's right. They're actually seeing a lack of patients for other medical issues, some which can be a matter of life and death. Good evening, everybody. I'm Trisha Keen. And I'm Ty Quinones. 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter right now is live at Southern Hills Hospital tonight. And Austin doctors right now, they are sounding the alarm about this. Yeah, Todd, they sure are. And you know, the narrative across the country really has been for everyone to stay home. And that's part of the reason that doctors believe they're seeing a decrease in patients needing to be treated for some serious things like strokes and heart attacks. In an emergency room, every minute counts. But if someone in need of immediate care doesn't come in quickly, it's a race against the clock. There are a lot of people who are staying home who probably should be in the emergency department. In the past month and a half, Southern Hills Hospital says they've seen an increase in people coming in with respiratory issues or COVID-19. However, they've seen a decrease in other serious conditions. We're not seeing a lot of people with chest pain. We're not seeing a lot of people with abdominal pain anymore. For whatever reason, we're seeing far fewer strokes as well. And it's cause for concern. Dr. Cole Sondrup is an emergency physician and the medical director of the emergency department at the hospital. He says a lot of people are staying home far too long and by the time they come in are too sick for the treatments to work. And in some cases, it means things are getting worse and they're not seeking emergency care until they absolutely need it or or in some cases until it's too late. So why is it happening? Dr. Sandra believes it's tied to the fear of coming to the hospital, being in the ER and possibly being around COVID-19. However, Dr. Sandra says the hospital is one of the cleanest and safest places that you can go. The people who come in and talk to you have cleaned their hands every time they walk into a room, every time they walk out of a room. Yeah, and Dr. Sandra really wanting to reverse that stigma. He said there have even been cases where folks have been experiencing chest pains for weeks. They then talk to their regular doctor virtually and then just try to stick it out at home. But then they end up inevitably showing up here trying to get treatment at the hospital. So he says your best bet if you are feeling sick, if you need that medical attention to come on into the hospital, it is safe and clean. We're live at Southern Hills Hospital tonight. I'm Austin Carter, 13 Action News.